So I got a package in the mail today. I don't know what it is. It's like sort of the size of a shoebox, I think. I don't know where it's from. I don't think I ordered anything, I don't think. And I don't know of any brands that are sending me anything. So this is gonna be a nice little bit of a surprise. If you guys are feeling real, as always, as I wield a knife right in front of your face, let me know if you're feeling real down in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll stab you. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, we're moving. It's way too windy here. How does the wind blow down a tripod? As I was saying, no idea what these are. They just showed up in the mail today, so hopefully they are something nice. Hopefully they're a pair of sneakers. Hopefully it's not like a boom box or a blender or something. I don't think I ordered a blender, but you never know these days. I buy way too much random crap. This knife is really sharp. Usually I'm not too bothered about like being safe with stuff because usually I cut open things with car keys. What do we have here? Oh, okay. I remember what these are. This is a pair of sneakers from a brand called The Sneaker Project. As you guys can see, they hit me up on, I think they shot me an email a couple of weeks ago. Asked if they could send me a pair of sneakers. They're not paying me, so this is not a paid endorsement. I will give my honest opinions on this pair of sneakers. They sent me the Hollywood pair of sneakers. Size 11, Euro 44, UK 10. I'm a size 12. I think I asked for a size 12. I don't know why they didn't send me a size 12. Oh, maybe they were out of size 12s. I think I remember they were out of size 12s. I agreed to take the 11 because I was curious to see this pair of sneakers. Oh my good, wow, these are crazy. Look at, wow. These are, this is a very, 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 very loud pair of sneakers. Okay, so this is clearly inspired by like a Mason Margiela type sneaker. I forget what the actual model is, but you can tell that this is heavily inspired by that. And I'm a fan of the Margiela sneaker model, and this is obviously a cheaper alternative. I think these are around between 80 and $120, if I had to guess. There will be a link down in the description if you guys wanna go check out this brand, maybe purchase some of their stuff. This is actually pretty cool. The quality of materials obviously is not online with like the designer brands, but at the same time, it's not terrible either. You have like a, a patent leather croc skin type stuff back here. It's just synthetic leather, and you have like a, a Nubuck here, which isn't the greatest quality Nubuck, except compared to some Jordan releases, it's, it's pretty comparable to some Jordan release you got red laces you got the crazy classic bottom I forget what the brand is that makes all these outsoles except it's good because you can like replace them if need be let's see how these fit this is a size 11 so I'm assuming they're going to be a little bit tight actually you know what these fit these fit like a size 12 would so if you want to pick these up definitely go a size down because these fit pretty big I'd say these fit very very similar and they're very similar in size to the uh, Jordan ones that I have on today. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna wear these with this outfit. I know half of the comment section is freaking out right now, like Ray Ray, you don't know how to dress. You're really gonna wear these with this? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear them with this outfit. Don't worry guys. What do you guys think of these? Down in the comment section below, I know most of you guys are probably going to tear these apart because it's not a name brand sneaker, but I think these actually look pretty cool. Like if you're into designer sneakers, you want a $700 sneaker, but you can't afford a $700 sneaker, this is a great alternative. If I'm not mistaken, they do sell these at finish line locations as well. So if you guys wanna pick these up, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you, Sneaker Project, for sending these out. These are actually pretty cool. Okay, so if you guys remember when I was in Hong Kong, I bought a pair of totally authentic, 100% legit, straight from Adidas Yeezys for 120 Hong Kong dollars, which is, I don't know, like 18, 19 dollars. And I, a few days ago, I gave them away to a thrift store or a secondhand store, you know, one of the ones that gives the money back to charity. Realistically, what am I gonna do with a pair of 100% totally authentic straight from Adidas Yeezys that I bought for $120 in Hong Kong? Not much, so I figured, hey, let's give them back to charity, do something nice. Someone gets a pair of shoes that they want or a pair of shoes that they don't want. I mean, they're not the best pair of shoes in the world, but still, someone can use them. I have no use for them. This morning, I hop on Kijiji, which is like the Canadian equivalent of Craigslist, and I'm just looking around in the men's shoes section, and what do I see, you may ask? What do I see? Take one guess what I see. Yeah, I saw the Yeezys, at least I think they're the Yeezys that I gave away at the thrift store and now all of a sudden they're, L look at that, look at that, $60 
for the Yeezys, the Yeezy 350 gray and orange for $60. Well, here's a picture. Like, that's really, really high quality image there. You can tell he really cared. Now, the reason I think these are mine is because if you look at the picture really carefully, the second pair isn't even laced up, and I only laced up one pair for the video, or only one shoe laced up. I mean, like, two pairs of shoes is one pair of shoe. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, I'm like 99% sure that this is the pair of shoes that I gave away that I paid $18 for, that someone is trying to flip for $60, so I texted him and I want to meet up and I'm going to buy them from him. Okay, I think his car actually just pulled up. Let's go pick up the Yeezys. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Oh crap, my, my camera fell over again. Oh my goodness, my camera fell over again. I'm sorry guys. My camera's falling over all over the place today. There we go. Okay, so I got the Yeezys. I'm going to put a significant amount of money on them that these are the exact same ones that I bought uh, I didn't want to take my camera in there and like start filming the meetup I think that would just be a little bit awkward and you might get a little bit sketched out I didn't pay 60 for them don't worry when I got there I was like 60 man there's not even a box let's do 40 and then I guess he just wanted to sell them so bad we, we did 40 on them so I paid 40 Canadian dollars for these 32 American dollars again I'm, I really feel confident that these are the exact same ones that I bought in Hong Kong. Like, they look extremely similar. They're the same size. They're size 11. This pair of shoes isn't even laced up. I don't know, guys. I just find this hilarious. Like, amazing pair of shoes. Let's take a quick little review of them. So, the quality is really good. They look really authentic. S-P-L-V. That's for Supreme Louis Vuitton. I think we went over this when I took a look at them in Hong Kong. I just find this crazy that I bought a pair of shoes in Hong Kong. I gave them away in a thrift store and then I buy them again in Winnipeg from a guy who bought them in the thrift store. If that's not amazing, I don't know what is. What is more amazing than that? But yeah, it's it's like, I don't, what does the insole even look like on these? So you got like a really, really high quality floppy insole, and then you got a piece of cardboard glued onto the bottom there, and then you have the, the boost, which Adidas has figured out how to put colored boost on the bottom of a shoe now. So that's that's a huge upgrade. We got a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on. Prime that looks 100% authentic. Stitching looks 100% authentic. Lacing looks 100%, no. These are, these are very, 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 very shambolic. Not very good in the slightest. I was actually watching a documentary on YouTube yesterday about the, the streetwear culture in South Korea, in Seoul particularly, about how they don't get a lot of the big brands, so these fake sneakers are actually accepted in streetwear, whereas here you get made fun of endlessly, and in the States you get made fun of endlessly, and then in the UK and most Western countries you just get ragged on for wearing these. But in South Korea, apparently, you can actually get away with wearing fake Supreme and fake Louis Vuitton and fake Stussy and fake Off-White because you can't get a lot of those brands easily in the country. So my question to you guys, the question of the video, what I want to hear from you guys, if you were in a position like that where you knew these were fake, but the, the real ones were so hard to come by, like let's say they just did not release in the States or did not release in England or Canada or wherever, or wherever you live, what is the most you'd be willing to pay for them in a circumstance like that where you're aware they're fake, but you're not being made fun of them for being fake, you're not being ridiculed or judged because lots of people are wearing fakes. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below. Nothing too crazy today, I just, I don't know. I spent $40 on these and I'm literally gonna give them back to the thrift store and probably someone's gonna buy them again and try and sell them. So if you're in Winnipeg and you wanna make a quick buck, I'm gonna be giving these to the thrift store and if you wanna try and flip them to some kid, go for it if you want to, just please don't tell them they're real. If you're doing that, you're pretty much a garbage person, but besides that, I really don't give a crap what you do. Like if you try and sell a pair of fake shoes and tell everyone that they're a pair of fake shoes and you still wanna sell them, go for it. If you wear a, pig, a fake pair of shoes and you tell everyone that they're fake and you don't try and stunt on people, I really don't care. Go for it. That being said, I hope all of you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go look at my real Yeezys because seeing these ones has just made me sad because these are like the fact that I can roll them up into a circle. How much did these cost to make? Like 37 cents? Probably something like that.